hour, amigos. It's finally here. I mean, check it out. I cannot believe the space I've got. I've got enough room in here to put one motorcycle there, another one there, another one there, and probably more across here, and put both cars in here, and as the missus says, and still have room to roller skate. But sorry for such a long delay. Um, it's been hot, not that that matters. It's been quite a process to get this building done. And man, and I just wanna give a heartfelt thank you to every single one of you for being patient with me and those of you who have helped to make this possible. I'm so without words for how I feel about this. I mean, this, this isn't just my shop, but those of you who helped make this happen, consider this home as well, okay? I really don't know what project to tackle next, but I do know one thing. Um, first order of business before, well, I, I guess I can start working on motorcycles before the electricity gets put in, but we have no electricity in here. So the first order of business is going to be, as far as what to do next with this building is, well, I'm going to, uh, you know, find a way to hook up the electricity, to, you know, get some power from that house to this building and put receptacles in, light switches and lights and you know make it a workable building but you guys are something else i mean look at this building i mean i know i definitely lost my norman rockwell image that i used to have with the old shop but as far as ergonomics this would be the bee's knees and i do plan on doing this all along that wall from that top purling and up i eventually want to have a loft so whenever the prices of wood comes down and with a little bit of help from my friends who know how to cut two two by fours the same length unlike me i mean imagine that i can build that thing right there but i can't cut two two by fours to save my life at the same length i've got a bunch of stuff that i need to unpack there's a bunch of parts in these totes over here and there's still some other stuff that's got to come in here that hadn't come in here i still have a pile of stuff under a tarp also some of you have asked where's the iron head as you've seen in the pictures well the iron head i still have it it's in my neighbor's barn it's got a flat tire i just haven't gotten the gumption in this heat to uh push that thing all the way across two properties you know uphill in the snow well it's not snowing but you get the drift but it's going to make its way in here too i got more coming up check it out this is the original iron head frame right here and i happen to have another evo sportster frame so after the iron head build happens well there's never a such thing as being finished with an iron head much less iron head chopper there's not that's a black hole of something to do but once i get it to be a rideable motorcycle i've got another bike i'm going to build and along with you know doing whatever else i need to do with these bikes but there's another evo sportster in the works because i still have the engine the original engine that i built for this motorcycle right here and you know that engine was just a a four-speed evo sportster engine you know it was a little underpowered for what i want but i do miss that motor so instead of letting it sit and do nothing i'm going to put it in that frame right there it's a frame that i picked up off of ebay and it had a clear title and ironically it's a 1990 frame the exact same year that the tramp is registered under so what are the odds of that you know because i had been looking forever on ebay for a frame with a clear title and to find one of that year, 86 to 90, I mean, those are some bastard years right there. And I found one. So I've got another build coming up. So uh, I don't know what else to say, guys, other than, again, a great big heartfelt thank you for your patience, for your kind words, and your encouragement. Yeah, I know I was a bit down whenever that old shop came crashing down. And I will be honest, I'm going to continue to miss that old place just because of its character and, you know, but... Anyway, it is what it is. I guess I'm at a loss for words, but that's about all I, I can say. So uh, hopefully the next time uh, you see a video with this new place, it'll be electricity, because it sure would be nice to have some electricity because uh, in one of these windows, either that one or that one, I'm gonna put a window unit in it and I'm gonna have some air conditioning in this place. So I guess I'm just gonna end it right here. Again, sorry for taking so long for getting back with you guys, but as always, you know, I don't know what I'm going to film next, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be interesting. So you guys keep the rubber side down. You be good to yourselves. And thanks a lot.